Is the planet getting warmer? This is a simple question with huge implications. A significant number of people today believe global warming is not only happening, but that it is primarily caused by humans. There's also a good-sized group who believe global warming is probably happening, but it's all part of the natural ebb and flow of Earth's temperature, and there's little or nothing we can do to stop it. Then there are those who are skeptical that global warming is even happening. In order to get to the bottom of this debate, we need to investigate three distinct questions. What causes changes to the global climate? How do we know if the planet is getting warmer? And who or what is responsible for these changes to the global climate? Let's take a look at that first question. What causes changes to the global climate? Global climate change involves a complex interplay between four factors that affect the temperature of the surface of the Earth. The brightness of the sun, gases in the Earth's atmosphere, the location and percentages of continents, and the life forms. This brings us to our second question. How do we know if the planet is getting warmer? To answer this, we first need to understand the difference between climate and weather. Climate patterns are long-term conditions, crossing decades, centuries, and even millennia. Weather patterns are more short-term, ranging from minutes to seasons. So that's why we can have an unseasonably cold winter one year, but still be talking about global warming. The scientific community has been tracking the weather since 1850. The data is very compelling that over the last 150 years, the average global temperature has increased by about half to one degree Celsius, or one to two degrees Fahrenheit. This probably sounds like an inconsequential amount, but when you factor it over the entire globe, this small change is having consequences that we can measure. But we also have valuable data from other sources that were present going back to 400,000 years ago. And what we see is that Earth's temperature has fluctuated within a 20 degrees Celsius window. But even that large window has allowed for a thriving, diverse array of animal and bacterial life. We live in a time where there has been relative stability of the planet's temperature. So let's review the verifiable agreed upon facts. Fact number one, over the past 150 years, we are trending towards getting warmer. Fact number two, the Earth has experienced a series of climate changes throughout its history, far more dramatic than the one we're experiencing currently. Fact number three, Earth's climate involves several interdependent factors, and sometimes a few small changes have had a profound long-term impact on the planet. These three facts point to an interesting observation. The optimal time for humans to be able to survive and thrive on our planet is in the current window of time. So let's tackle our third question. Are humans responsible for global warming? The answer to that question is yes. Scientists are widely agreed that humans are at least partly responsible for an increase in the Earth's temperature. But to what degree? That's much more complicated. Part of the problem is we haven't developed the technology to figure it out with great precision. Based on what we know right now, the best estimates say that humans are 30 to 70 percent responsible for the current climate change, with natural processes accounting for the remaining 30 to 70 percent. Our current technology does not allow us to be more definitive. We don't have enough data to accurately assess why our climate has been remarkably stable over the last 8,000 years and exactly why it started going up over the last 50. The bottom line is this. All reliable data is that the planet is getting warmer. What this means is debated. In the future, we may be able to develop new technology that will help us gather more data and be better position to answer this question. Until then, Christians need to get beyond merely restating our views of global warming based on our political party affiliations and seek what God would have us to do to care for this great world he's made for us to live in and enjoy.